Hey everyone, this is Kayla with All Pro Web Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add social media icons to your website. With your All Pro Web Tools account, you have the ability to put hyperlinks into social media icons that people who are viewing your website can click on, and it will take them to your social media page. So here you can see in the header, there are social media icons. If I click on them, it takes me to that page. They're also here on the side, as well as down here in the footer. You can edit, delete, and create more, as well as add them to the header in your website, and I'm gonna show you just how to do that. We can go back into your Opera Web Tools account, and from here, you can hover over website and go to social media accounts. From here, we can edit existing social media accounts. We can view their URLs, edit their icons, as well as delete them. Here, where it says show icons in header, if we flip that switch off where it says hide and we go back and refresh our website, we're gonna see what that looks like. So you can see that it took off your social media icons up in your header. So if you don't want them to be up there, you can flip that switch. But if you would like them to be there, you can turn that switch right back on. If I want to add a social media account, I can go right here and click in the drop down box. I can choose from any of these options. And let's say that I don't have a blogger account, but I do want to add my alignable. And although that's not an option here in the drop down box, I can still use it. I can just click blogger and it will automatically generate the blogger icon. However, I can customize it and add my own. So I'm going to add the alignable icon. We highly suggest having all of your icons the same size, and here it's 45 by 45 pixels. Here in your page URL, you don't have to type HTTP forward slash forward slash www dot. You can actually just type in And then once you hit save, it will automatically bring up that URL for you. So if we look down here, it is added. And if we refresh our web page, we can see that it's up here as well as it is down here in the footer. So now let's take a look here at this sidebar. There isn't an option here to edit it, but you can hover over settings and go to website. And if we scroll down and hover over social media settings, we can see here that there is an option to show or hide the social sidebar. If we choose hide and we click update information, we can go back to our website and see what that looks like. And you can see that that sidebar social media is gone. But if we want it back, we can simply just say show and update the information and it will be back. Let's also say that we want it to be on the right side rather than the left. We can press that. Let's click update information. And let's refresh our website to see what that looks like. You can see here that it's moved to the right side. And now let's look at hide until scroll. Here, the sidebar is showing all the time, but if we want to hide it until your viewer scrolls, now here we can show how many likes or shares each social media account has. Here we're hiding the numbers, but if we want to show them, we can click show numbers. Now, whenever someone who is viewing your website hovers over an image, they're going to see at the top left right here this little Pinterest icon. If they click on it, it will take them to Pinterest. If you would like that removed, that's pretty easy to do. We can go back into our All Pro Web Tools account and on this same settings and website page, we can go right here where it says Pinterest image hover. So if we press off and update that information and we go back and refresh our website, you'll be able to see that if you hover over any images, the Pinterest image is no longer there. So that's how you add and edit social media icons. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy helpful videos like this, please like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when All Pro Web Tools posts videos just like this one to help you manage your business. Again, thank you so much for watching. So we'll see you next time.